Hello, and thanks again for subscribing to my YouTube channel, Straight From The Closet. My name is Angie Coward, and I am a paparazzi consultant. Um, I've been with paparazzi now for four months. Uh, my consultant ID is 103460, so if you are interested in signing up and to become a consultant, please make sure that you reach out to me. So I came on really quickly today just to give you a short tutorial as to um, things that you should think about when you're doing a live video and when you're using a mannequin. Um, naturally, mannequins are, um, well, it depends on which mannequin you have, but my mannequin is a half mannequin, so she does have a bottom half, um, which is important when you're showing long necklaces, because it gives the viewer an idea as to where the necklace will fall when they put it on. Um, another thing I wanted to mention is that, um, you should always have, like, an additional piece, uh, additional garment with you when you're doing a live, in case you need to switch up the color. So, for instance, she is wearing an orange, almost like a salmon color, um, top. And this would be good for golds, um, if you want to do white, um, but I particularly would not put silver on this. I think it, it kind of drowns it out a little bit because it's too much of a background color. So in particular, I would have this available. Um, and I make sure that it's already buttoned up so that I'm very quick when I do my lives. And all I have to do is pretty much slip it over the mannequin's neck, pull it around her arms on both sides to be sure that I'm able to show the viewers. Um, pretty much different styles that they can wear their items. So you wanna make sure that you have on something that you can just slip on another top to, or if you already have the top one, you wanna be able to just take it right off. So, I mean, she doesn't have to be well-dressed. She's not going anywhere, obviously. Um, but you do wanna make sure that it's, you know, an attire that someone would actually wear. So with this one, the black kind of drowns out the orange color in the background, so you can go ahead and throw in some silver and have it lay right on top of the black right there. So as you can see, you can be kind of versatile with that. There you go. And then it's easy to just take it off when you want to go ahead and switch on um, a different piece. So I'll just show you a really quick um, example. So if I wanted to show something silver, this would be easy to tie into the black give it a nice look and you can see it because it has like a dark dark background it makes the silver kind of bling a little bit more than it normally would um, against the orange against the orange will give it a um, drown out effect and you definitely definitely don't want that now what I do suggest let me just show you this real quick is that if you want to show colorful items Try to pick pieces that are like colors. So for instance, this dress here underneath is an orange color, right? So let me just show you how it would look against another orange color. She's trying to keep, she's trying to keep my shirt, guys. Can't have that. Can't have her keep my clothes. All right, so I'm gonna throw on an orange necklace so this is orange and silver so this has a pop of color so if your lighting is right you can kind of see the orange in the orange and this will give people an idea um, of being of, of basically what they can wear with this item so you want to kind of make sure that your tones are really close um, they're all in the same family basically orange and orange of course and then the silver just has a pop of color. Just gives it like a brighter look. So I just wanted to come on really quickly just to do a quick YouTube um, tutorial as to what type of items you should have when you're doing a live and you're showing your um, pieces. You wanna make sure that you have light colors if you're using a mannequin. You wanna make sure that you have a versatile piece. So rather that be um, a dress um, or a button up top that you can just slip right over top of the dress. So hopefully this was helpful um, to you and when you do your next live, you'll be nice and prepared. Um, also, another piece I wanted to make sure that you add, you always wanna have your smaller bust as well. Because with the mannequin, you want to be able to take the piece off and kind of zoom it in a little bit just to show a closer effect so that people can, you know, see the piece a little bit uh, more close up opposed to them having to zoom in on their own. 
So I just wanted to do a five minute video. Thank you very much for tuning in and please subscribe to my YouTube page. Please share if you can. And if you are interested in becoming a consultant, please reach out to me. I am always looking to uh, recruit. My name is Anjanique Howard. I am the brand owner of Neeks Philly Jewel as well as Lush Jewels. All right. Thank you very much. Have a great one.